Hi guys, Pro here, VIP Outdoors, and we want to go over how to effectively use smaller herring for spring chinook here on the Columbia River. So this year we have trouble getting larger baits, our regular greens, our red label herring. So we've been kind of forced to use greens and in the, or excuse me, oranges. And in the past I've used oranges. There's a couple different challenges though. The biggest challenge is that it's such a small bait that you can potentially blow out the belly walls and things like that uh, very easily. So when you're plug cutting these, you have to be very precise about it. And there's a couple different things that make all the difference in the world. One of them is the bait brine you're using. You wanna use a good quality bait brine. We have our dry brine, which essentially is just the Northwest uh, bait brine that they have there. It's a really good one. It tightens it up nice. And we're gonna plug cut the first one, okay? So as far as plug cutting goes, very simple. We got a video on how to do that. You guys could look up. I usually come behind the collar. There's jigs and stuff. I just go at an angle and just like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, one of the keys in using these smaller baits is to downsize things. I generally fish a three aught hook when I'm fishing spring chinook. And uh, what I've done is I've downsized to a two aught hook. Uh, these are the two hooks for me that I prefer is the Gami and the Tua and then the owner Tua SSW and the needle point and those work out really really nice. Get them all free loaded on a spool just like this and one of the things you want to look at when you plug cut the herring is your spacing of hooks. Spacing of hooks is going to be a really really big deal. For me I want that tail hook to come out right about there. If that tail hook works right about there, that's about perfect for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch the cavity like that. And I could tell that belly wall's firmed up because of that brine. I leave the guts in it. I don't wanna pull the guts out of these small guys. We have more blood in there. That's a good thing. Hook goes inside, in between the guts and the belly wall, wiggle it out, go right up the center. Again, leaving the guts in there. And then see how that hook comes down right in between there? I maybe want to get another maybe half inch in there, but that's not bad at all. So again, I have the hook right down by the tail to where this sticks out right beneath there. So that's how we plug cut a small orange label herring. Again, the brine being a very important part of that, downsizing the hooks being another part of that, and leaving the guts in there. Those are three of the key factors. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. And the second way is by fishing a whole herring. And old Brian Jones from Takedown Guide Service, he's actually driving the boat right now. He didn't want to show you guys, but he's the one that showed me how to do this. So this is pretty slick. It's very similar to an anchovy, the way we do the anchovies in the fall, right? Take your fish, just bend it to any angle you want. I kind of want a pencil roll. So you see that? Then I take my toothpick, I go right in behind the dorsal fin and stick it all the way through to where you get your bend that you want. And then that bend stays in the fish, just like that. That's going to create a roll. I'm going to take that same mooching leader. Let me get this out of there just for demonstration purposes. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to take the back hook. I like punching it through the back of the tail just like that. And I take the head hook and I go underneath the jaw through the top of the head to where it keeps that mouth closed. Then you're going to have a bait, a whole bait that rolls through there. So, anyways, guys, that's how we fish orange label herring at VIP Outdoors. Hope that helps you guys out. It's a little bit different, but very, very effective way to both plug cut and use a whole orange label herring. Thanks for watching, guys.